Well, we're climbing up a hill called the Cloud. It's a right challenge. I think it's about 1100 feet. Pretty steep. There's no recognizable path for us to go through. So we're just uh, picking our way. And uh, all we know is, oops, sorry. <laughs> all we know is the only way is up. We're so, just, we're, we're, it's okay, we're doing really well and it's, uh, we're enjoying it, but we've just passed some people running up and down it. <laughs> <laughs> As if it was a flight of stairs but, going to their bedroom. We're happy walking. <laughs> yeah. But already after a week or so of more serious walking, we can feel our fitness coming back, can't we? Yeah. And, and the horse flies. Yeah, the horse flies everywhere, excuse me. Right, I'm woods and upwards, friend. Yep. Oh, we won't be going down that way. <laughs> there is actually a path there because there's stepping stones, but the bracken has grown up but so high you can't see it. Well, we made it to the top. We saw this from the boat yesterday, so you should be able to see the boat somewhere down here, didn't we? Somewhere we did see it from the boat. I will pick the boat out and have a look at this panorama first. Wow. And there, in the distance, that's Jodderall Bank Satellite Telescope. This is the plains of Cheshire. And there's Constanza, right in the middle of the picture. Let's give you some idea how far we've come up. Well, we've left our lovely mooring. We've been there for three days opposite the cloud, hill called the cloud. And uh, it's been beautiful this morning. We sat and had breakfast in the well deck at the front. Uh, lovely, gorgeous 20 something degrees sunshine. The Met Office weather app said no rain today. But uh, as you can see, just started moving and it's just started raining so we've got a mile to go before 11 locks uh, Bosley flight of locks and then we're just going to do another two or three miles after that not going to go too far and um, more up inside of these hills coming up
As you can see, weeks after we had the boat out, the water was still waiting for a decent spell of weather to finish painting. Every time we get a, a reasonable day, we end up cruising because we need to move on. But in between, the weather's just been atrocious. Here in Bollington, on the canal side, are two old mills from the middle of the 19th century, both for the production of cotton and the one behind me, Clarence Mill, uh, used to have something like 36 mills in its heyday. And it's just an amazing construction. The top two levels are now uh, apartments and flats and the, the rest of the building is dedicated to small business units and a coffee, coffee shop. This is a Delphi mill built in 1858 by the Swindle brothers and uh, Adelphi actually means brothers in Greek, who knew, and um, was built for the production of cotton but soon turned over for the production of silk. And during the Second World War, they uh, utilised it for the making of parachutes. Steering west or southwest, four or five, occasionally six later. Fair, then rain or showers, occasionally thundery for a time. Good, occasionally poor. Lands end to St. David's Head, including the Bristol Channel. We're in Bollington, which is near Macclesfield. And we're off to a Sunday market, see what they've got in terms of food, etc. We've just come back from a lovely cup of tea and cake. Huge cake. Huge cake. With uh, Daryl and Keith from Campervan Tales. Thank you guys, it was lovely to lovely meet you. Lovely bit of cake, thanks very much. <laughs> so I'll put a link below to their channel and uh, give them a thumbs up, have a look at their videos and uh, subscribe so anyway the weather is just atrocious still <laughs> it, isn't it it's been awful I've never known a summer like it really you just can't reliably get more than a day without rain it's, it's gone, cold it is cool I mean, there's jumpers on etc it's gone past boring now though hasn't it it's just <laughs> oh, another wet day so it's Sunday it looks like we're gonna have another afternoon on the boat we're not moving again today it just isn't worth it it's supposed to be brighter in the next couple of days so we can get going again that well, looks like what happened was we were in Bollington which is north of Macclesfield we wanted to stay in Macclesfield but there are so few more in places there uh, they were all full so we had to keep going hoping that we could moor up just a mile or so outside but you can't there's no mooring uh, so we've come into Bollington, we've been here for a few days and um, 
quite like it actually, don't we? It's, it's a nice, nice little town. It's a lovely beautiful. little town. Lovely Doing walks. Lots of walks. This is Bollington Brewery, small microbrewery, and they actually produce some wonderful beers, which we are going to taste now, again. <laughs> Just over there is their own pub. It's another grey wet day and uh, I'm not happy where we moored the boat last night. It's perfectly safe but it's dark with these overhanging trees and the uh, solar panels aren't getting any light so there's nothing going in the batteries and as we've got to stay in the same place for the next day or so I'm going to move the boat up a mile. I've spotted a little spot that's in the open and uh, a little more of a rural location as well, no houses around. So here goes. So as it's such a miserable day outside, we're spending the day inside today. I'm editing the video, you're now watching. <laughs> and what are you up to, Fran? I've taken over the other end of the boat <laughs> with weaving. And this is what happens when we have to make, we have to have a little corner of the boat each to work. Um, but I'm weaving a wall hanging today. I might hang, I might weave two. And I just thought I'd show you some of the little bits that we've done in the past. And I started weaving these very lightweight shawls for summer. Um, there's a couple there. These are more scarves. Very, very gossamer like, isn't it? It's, it's lovely. very, very thin, I'm very lightweight, light and, and you know, Beautiful. and but really warm. Just to wrap up in the evening. Some of them are made of silk, so that looks a little bit denser, but again, really light because it's nearly all silk. Um, wall hangings here already to go up. I think one of them might be, for, I think that one, we might even keep because we quite like that one. Yeah, that, that's for so. us, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, also I've started framing, doing little bits of weaving to frame. We've actually got some, I can't show you now, they're on the doors of our boat. Um, just to brighten up the, the boat panels and they look lovely when you get a few in a colour scheme. So I've had a good old sort out um, and I've got a big project in mind for myself. I think I'm going to weave myself a big poncho. I saw one in a shop the other day so if I get my wall hangings done that's me for the day. So all this stuff is available on your Etsy page. Plug, plug. It is Constanza Creations. Link below. <laughs> um, if you want anything, have a look and see. You know, the, the pictures are only quite cheap. Some of the shawls are more expensive because they're quite time consuming, but just have a look and see. Lovely. Poor little doggies are tucked away in a corner because that's the only space left for them, but they don't mind. <laughs>
Nice work, Fran. Beautiful. So this is inspired by a plant called Rose Bay Willow Herb, which is everywhere along the canals at the moment. And I would never have chosen to put the greens and the purples and pinks together, but that's what nature did and it looks lovely, so I copied. I think it works. Just a quick update on the uh, state of the Tubbrook Reservoir, which is at the bottom end of the Peak Forest Canal. Uh, last video mentioned that they'd close the canal until they got the reservoir safe. Well, that's happened now. They've reduced the water levels in the reservoir enough to reopen the canal and let all the villagers go back into their homes, which has happened about a week ago, I think, Fran, did it? Uh, I think so, yeah. So that's all good. We can now travel down the Peak Forest Canal and um, do all the walking that we wanted to do in the Derbyshire Dales there. So uh, that's all good news. Mm -hmm.